for a decade. The concept of a Hyperloop, a rapid transport system, has captured significant attention. Initially introduced by Elon Musk, the idea has motivated numerous companies to investigate its viability and possibilities. However, progress on the project has slowed down, raising the question, what happened to the Hyperloop? Watch this video to the end to know everything about the Hyperloop's goals, challenges, and future. And remember to like and subscribe to never miss out on these videos. Elon Musk introduced the Hyperloop concept in 2013 in a white paper titled Hyperloop Alpha. The concept aimed to establish a transportation system that achieves high speeds and energy efficiency by transporting passengers and cargo in pods through vacuum tubes at up to 700 miles per hour. This proposal involves utilizing magnetic levitation, commonly referred to as maglev, to minimize friction and air resistance, enabling faster travel while consuming less energy than conventional rail or air transportation methods. When Elon Musk first proposed the Hyperloop in 2013, it seemed like the stuff in science fiction movies. A futuristic transportation system that could shuttle passengers in floating pods through low-pressure tubes at speeds up to 760 miles per hour. No wonder it ignited the public's imagination. For a while, the Hyperloop was all anyone could talk about. Musk's white paper sparked debates about how it might work and whether it could revolutionize travel. Several startups formed to make the Hyperloop a reality, raising millions in funding and partnering with governments to build test tracks. So why don't we have a Hyperloop yet? As it turns out, building a fully operational Hyperloop system is insanely complicated. There were technical hurdles around managing air pressure and acceleration that proved harder to solve than expected. Then there were the massive infrastructure challenges in constructing hundreds of miles of tunnels and tubes. The cost was another vast barrier. No wonder some startups struggled to raise enough capital to move from concept to construct action. Since Elon Musk introduced the idea, several companies have showed interest in pursuing the development of Hyperloop technology. Virgin Hyperloop stands out as a prominent player among the notable companies in the Hyperloop industry. Formerly recognized as Hyperloop One, Virgin Hyperloop has gained significant industry recognition. Founded in 2014, the company has conducted multiple tests and demonstrations of its technology but has recently faced setbacks and downsizing. Hyperloop Transportation Technologies, or HTT, another prominent player in the Hyperloop industry. HTT has focused on developing its proprietary system and has partnered with several countries to explore potential routes. Transpod, a Canadian company. Transpod has been working on its Hyperloop system since 2015, with plans to build a test track in France. While Elon Musk's initial Hyperloop concept inspired multiple companies to explore the technology, the entrepreneur has yet to pursue its development directly. Instead, he has focused on his companies, SpaceX and Tesla, occasionally supporting Hyperloop startups through SpaceX-sponsored competitions. In contrast, Virgin Hyperloop has been the most active in attempting to bring the technology to life. The company made headlines in November 2020 when it became the first to move people using Hyperloop technology at its test facility outside Las Vegas. However, recent setbacks have led to a shift in focus and downsizing. Transpod is another company worth watching in the Hyperloop race. Although less well-known than Virgin Hyperloop, Transpod has been making steady progress in developing its system and has plans to build a test track in France. The main goal of Hyperloop technology is to revolutionize transportation. Hyperloop strives to bring about numerous notable benefits, which include Swift travel, with speeds reaching up to 700 miles per hour. The Hyperloop has the potential to reduce travel times between cities drastically. For instance, it could enable a journey from Los Angeles to San Francisco in just 30 minutes. Wow! Energy efficiency. By using magnetic levitation and operating within a vacuum, Hyperloop systems can minimize energy consumption and emissions 
surpassing the efficiency of traditional transportation methods. Cost effectiveness. Supporters of the Hyperloop argue that it can be more economically viable than high-speed rail due to reduced infrastructure and maintenance costs. So, why is Hyperloop development taking so long? Despite the promise of Hyperloop technology, its development could have been faster and faced numerous challenges. Some of the reasons for the slow progress include technical challenges, developing an entirely new transportation infrastructure, including vacuum tubes, maglev systems, and safety measures, is complex and challenging. Companies must overcome many engineering and design hurdles to prove the viability of Hyperloop technology. Regulatory Hurdles As a new form of transportation, the Hyperloop faces significant regulatory challenges. Governments must establish safety standards, certification processes, and land acquisition policies before the technology can be widely adopted. And last but not least, financial limitations challenge the advancement of Hyperloop technology as substantial investments are required. Numerous companies seek assistance in obtaining the funding required to progress their projects. The actual expenses associated with research, development, and infrastructure construction have proven to be a significant obstacle for many startups in the Hyperloop industry. As we mentioned earlier, Virgin Hyperloop has experienced several setbacks in its pursuit of Hyperloop technology. In January 2022, the company fired half its staff, stopped the development of a certification center in West Virginia, and put on hold the development for a route in India. The company has since pivoted its focus to cargo transport. These downsizing efforts and shifts in focus highlight the difficulties facing the Hyperloop industry. As Juan Matute, Deputy Director of the Institute of Transportation Studies at the University of California, Los Angeles, points out, many technological innovations attract significant investment during the hype cycle, only to face substantial technical challenges that lead to waning interest. Despite the setbacks and challenges, the Hyperloop industry is far from dead. Several companies, including Virgin Hyperloop, HTC, and Transpod, continue to work on developing the technology, albeit with a more measured and focused approach. Moreover, governments and regulatory bodies are beginning to show interest in the potential of the Hyperloop. For instance, the US Department of Transportation has established a Non-Traditional and Emerging Transportation Technology, or NETT, Council to explore the regulatory framework for new transportation technologies, including Hyperloop. Although it's challenging to accurately forecast a specific time frame in which Hyperloop technology will be widely embraced, the industry is expected to continue to advance and develop. As companies refine their designs, overcome technical challenges, and navigate regulatory hurdles, Hyperloop systems may eventually become a viable transportation option. As displayed by Virgin Hyperloop, the shift towards cargo transport may be a more practical and achievable short-term goal for the industry. By focusing on cargo transport, companies can demonstrate the technology's potential and work towards gaining regulatory approval and public trust before introducing passenger services. The Hyperloop industry has faced its fair share of challenges, but let me tell you, it's far from throwing in the towel. Thanks to the ever-evolving technology landscape, the allure of high-speed, energy-efficient transportation remains as captivating as ever. With its incredible potential benefits still within reach, companies like Virgin Hyperloop, HTT, and Transpod are tirelessly working to bring Hyperloop systems to life. And let me tell you, they're making impressive strides. The dream of revolutionizing transportation is still very much alive. Thank you so much for joining us today and watching this video. If you found it informative and exciting, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We have plenty more mega projects and awe-inspiring architecture content waiting for you among our previous videos. Remember to stay curious, keep exploring, and we'll catch you in the next one.